Hello, I'm Graham from Hawkins Plumbing and today I'm going to show you how to rewash a ballcock. For this job you will need a set of multi-grips and you will need a ballcock washer. Uh, you also still need a large screwdriver because I'm going to show you how to just take the seat out of the ballcock just in case you need to do that as well. Anyway, this is a ballcock and you'd normally find these in the supply tank in your, uh, in your ceiling which is feeding the cold water to your hot water cylinder. Uh, you may also find them in some old toilet systems. Now this comprises of the arm of the float, it has a silencer tube and it has the main ball cock body. Uh, normally you just check that the float hasn't filled up with water because that can also be a problem. This one's okay, so that means that we know that there's a problem actually in the ball cock body, probably the washer. Okay, the first thing we have to do is we have to take the arm off, which means we've got to take the little split pin in there, we've got to take that out. the arm out and now on the end of the ball cock body there is a cap which you can undo you may have to use some multi grips on that but uh, this one's okay and inside here is a piston now you've already turned your water off obviously uh, and if it's inside if, it, if it's already in the still in the uh, supply tank then you just need to turn your water on just a fraction and it will actually shoot the piston out which means you can take it out okay now in that piston on the end of it is a ball cock washer. If we undo the end with the washer on it, and again you may have to use your multi-grips, but this one's okay, and just take the washer out. We can put a new washer in there, put it in, and redo, put the piston back together again. Now, just at that point I just will tell you, most of the modern ball cocks, they actually have, inside there they have a stainless seat which is what the washer sits onto. Now if there is a problem with the seat, you can actually use a screwdriver and if you just slide it into the threaded end of the ball cock and it will sit into that, into the slot, you can actually undo the seat and take it out and there is a stainless seat. Now if that has a, a dip in it or it's damaged in any way, you can actually get a new seat and replace that. This one's okay, so we'll just put it all back together again. That's something which is worth knowing though, because uh, it may not just be the washer which is creating the issue, it may be the seat. Okay, so to put it all back together, all we've got to do now is we slide the, uh, the piston back into the body. What we do is we make sure that the washer end is facing the seat, and there's a hole in the bottom of this uh, piston. We just make sure that's facing down, because what will happen is the piston arm well, so the arm of the ball cock will fit into the, into the piston. So, if we slide that in that way, like that, and we put the arm back in there, you can see where it just slots in, and all we have to do then is put the, put the split pin back in. Just tap that through, and bend it over. All that remains is we screw the end cap onto the ball cock. And there you have a rewashed ball cock. Good luck with that and I hope it goes well. Thank you.